this is one of, one of our lifelong care advisors. Uh, so any dog that's adopted from Wood Green, we give lifelong behaviour training support afterwards just to help that transition and keep the dog in the home. So what does that involve? Um, so basically I speak to the new owners and see how they're getting on and if they're having problems with their dog, either training or behavioural issues, um, obviously I offer them as much support as I can, including dietary information. And so Blake Breakthrough's just been the answer to that really. So have you seen real differences from the yeah, dogs? Yeah, amazing results. Um, we've got a dog here I could show you actually. Oh, that would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I'll catch you with you soon. See you later, Thank Chris. You. Bye bye. Oh, hi Stephanie. Hello. Isn't he gorgeous? I love him. Hello, <laughs> look at you. Yeah. Love him. So tell me about Blaze. How did he first of all, how did he end up at mm -hmm. Wood Green? Um yeah, so Blaze he'd lived with four previous owners. Um <laughs> actually we were we were the third mm -hmm. um, and um, he'd got lots of sort of impulse control issues and so on. He'd had a really poor beginning, um, hadn't really had any of his basic puppy needs met, um, you know, not socialised well. Um, so that, um, it does impulse training. control issues, how mm -hmm. did they kind of show in him? Um, so he was just so reactive to the slightest um, bit of stimulus. Um, and he would, um, you know, bark, react. Um, he could only think about being trained for a couple of moments and then he'd want to move on to the next thing. Whereas now he's happy to stay, stay with something for much longer. So, how did you end up with him then, Steph? Um, well, we were looking at rehoming a dog anyway, mm -hmm. and we saw him when he first came into Wood Green and we just fell in love with him. <laughs> so, we decided we'd ring up and see if we were suitable enough to have him. So what was he like when you took him home? Oh my god, he was so bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. jumping up on the sofa, on the chairs, bouncing off the walls. We opened mm -hmm. the doors and let him out in the garden and he just ran around in circles. So real, real, so real much crazy energy. Boy. Yeah, so much energy in him. Did you do any of that kind of stuff with grabbing? Oh, or? a lot of that, yeah. We've really had to work on um, stopping him mouthing and <laughs> playing like that um, and just try and calm him down. Um, he's, he's learning his impulses, um, so when we come in the house now, he knows he's not to jump up, he knows he has to sit and wait for attention, just like this, rather than jumping up and demanding it. He's brilliant, so has he been one of the dogs that you've been out visiting? Um, no, I haven't been out to visit Blaze, we've been um, speaking by phone and mm -hmm. email, haven't yeah. we? Um, and I could tell he was improving, um, had a couple of glitches, but you know, he's been getting better as so, the weeks passed. So did you think that, you, that the breakthrough made a difference? I do think it has, um, mm -hmm. because he wasn't on it when he was here, so we started it when we took him home. Right. Um, and over the first couple of months we noticed that he was actually calming down, and even my parents say it now when they come round, they're like, oh, he's a lot calmer, isn't he? He's a lot calmer. <laughs> yeah. like, when I met Stephanie today, when she arrived at the shelter, I the first thing I said was his whole demeanour seemed different, he just seems calm. I mean, just look at him, I mean, he's fantastic. He's, I mean, from a dog that you've just said had very little impulse control, mm -hmm. he's actually really patient, he's really uh, calmly sitting, and he's really focused. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And you think that this can be partly attributed to breakthrough? Yeah, definitely. I, I would dread to think what he would be like um, not on it, basically. Well. Hopefully, we're not going to have to think about that. <laughs> I love his little sits. What else does he do? You need to do a down brace. Have a down. Oh, good down. There's a good down. Have a sit. Good sit. Good boy. What a nice boy. Yum. Thank you so much for letting us see him. He That's is right. such a lovely dog, and I'm so glad he's found his perfect forever home after so long and so many homes and that breakthroughs help.